What's going on, people? You just joined the abomination. Now, in this video, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, when these creatives got a, a name or check every box, name drop every marginalized, downtrodden group and whatnot, uh, you just, you know, you just get a bunch of garbage. Now, the reason being, now, fortunately, we are in an age where people, people just mindlessly consume um can't really say that for comic books because uh normies don't buy those uh but you know i guess they get their edition ones and post pictures or whatnot because this new character checks this box got this ailment uh fucks this gender use this neo pronoun whatever whatever nothing to actually do with superhero shit now this most recent spider which we had a, a gay one before this or maybe it was non-binary or some shit i don't know but this one is gay and disabled uh this this spider person i get an, an arachnoplegic i guess i don't know what terms they coming up with or how they even making this shit make sense but i mean come on now uh disney owns marvel marvel has a uh, they've letting y'all know what they got going on they've drawn their lines in the sand you know they they told you we virtue signal we overrepresent these people now and you're like okay that's fine but you know what about the story is the story any good we not we not talking about that just pay attention to how many people this represent that's what's important here and if you don't like it there's something wrong with you or is there something wrong with you if you can't create a compelling story that has these characters but no 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 criticism can befall upon these people because they're doing uh I, I would say god's work but that's blasphemous they're doing the universe's work and, and you know this is not even peter parker who is the spider-man they're they're not even fucking with him no more or i guess they're kind of trying to make him gay uh, like they're doing uh batman and <laughs> you know ice man so many other characters and you know they getting around to peter they taking away his traditional male relationship and you know his values and whatnot but you know they just add more spider people to the fray and again i i don't care no more i'm not emotionally invested in this shit but it's fun to laugh at it is so fun because of the lack of creativity now what spider person are we talking about well i don't even know all right, I'm, I'm figuring this out or finding this information out right along with y'all. But this article comes from Bleeding Cool. All right, let me read this. T. Franklin revives Charlotte Weber, Sun Spider for Marvel. Uh, you know, I, I guess we just just directly on the nose with the spider shit. You know, Peter Parker was an, uh, just a human name. <laughs> that guy could have any power. And you know you wouldn't know, but this is Charlotte Weber. You know, goddamn, we just had sh fucking Charlotte Webb. What the fuck? Again, just <laughs> no creativity, no creativity at all. Uh, but Charlotte was actually fucking useful, and you know had her legs <laughs> in the <laughs> in in the move in the book. Um, this one does not. So. Now, I've seen a lot of people uh, talk about this. Um, apparently, this article is old. But, you know, besides just seeing a picture of the uh, disabled spider person. Um, let's let's hear the you know, thoughts from the actual creator of this character creator in quotes. Um, we have been following the emerging comic book and TV career of T. Franklin after her initial success with Bingo Love, but then writing the Harley Quinn animated series comic book. And it seems that Marvel wants in. T. Franklin tweeted out the news alongside Marvel Comics solicitations about her first work for Marvel Comics. It is my absolute pleasure to announce that I've written a Spider-Verse story for Marvel Comics. I'd like for you to meet Sun Spider, AKA Charlotte Weber, a disabled spider sona created by Dane Broder. So, you know, people had what fucking Sonic sonas, first sonas. Spider sonas are a thing. Um, this is what I thought just kids, <laughs> teenagers did to themselves, you know, as fun, not to be uh, legit, but fuck it. <laughs> you know, we're seeing a bunch of uh, emotional immaturity 
from these uh, female creators, again, creators in comics, uh, creators, again, creators in quotes, but moving on. Okay, so this is is actually okay. So this character is created by Dane Broder, and T. Franklin is just writing a story. Okay, this is my first look at the cover, and I'm absolutely speechless. A disabled spider. Woo! This was such a hard secret to keep, but I'm so glad I can low key talk about it. Mm. I like to thank my Marvel editors for not only reaching out to me for the story, but caring enough to have disabled people to develop this story. We hope you love our Spider-Verse story. Y'all peep where the webbing comes from, right? It appears to come from their crutches. Yay. Now, that was the thing about Peter. He was smart enough to come up with, uh, you know, some devices to give him spider powers because uh, although he got a lot of the other um, ability, natural abilities of a spider, he didn't get the webs. Uh, you know, if they would have carried over, they would have been shooting out of his ass. So I could see how, you know, you take those liberties and be creative enough to, you know, give us another element of the character. Oh, well, he's super smart. He can create this stuff on his own. So him not getting that power was not a uh, was not an issue for him. You can figure out how to bypass that or simulate that. Somehow every new spider person just, you know, that they just get it. They just I, I don't know. I don't know. What is how does this person create fucking crutches with the web fluid? Yeah, anyway. So this is it, spider version number four of five. Dan Slot. I'm struggling through his fucking uh, She Hulk run. Okay, you know the first two, but you may not remember the amazing Sp Sun Spider who debuted in 2020 Spider Verse miniseries as a winner of our Spider Sona contest. She gets her own story here, so there was a contest to see what which of these characters would enter this uh, Spider whatever. But you know what? Um, there the Enter the Spider Verse uh, comic or the Spider Verse comic that came out was before these events i'm assuming so like definitely but uh like how why are we still continuing that spider-verse thing that was a story that was one and done and here we go we're just gonna keep milking this shit and spinstress is a brand new spider princess who sings talks to a spider and kicks villainous butt and the writers of the prowess <laughs> bro I'm, I'm not i can't keep reading this shit fuck here's how sun spider first looked from spider version number three and number six back in turn from the winning competition entry by dame brother as shown in the fuck this one and she's some type of butch lesbian look at the hat short haircut she chilling she cool and whatnot As a disabled person, I almost never get to see any disabled superheroes. But I wanted to create someone with me, an ambulatory wheelchair user who can still kick butt in her own modified way. Sun Spider is hyper flexible, though this does have drawbacks since it means she requires extra stability and the crutches help with that. Well, the spider um, powers gave Peter the uh, stability, the agility, the crazy balance and whatnot. So what's the fucking point of the crutches? I don't know. Um, but there's also a daredevil who's blind, a Professor Xavier who can't walk, uh, an Oracle used to be um, Batgirl who could not walk uh, at, a, at a point in time. So, I mean, they're there. Now, if you want to see more, uh, you can make that. I'm sure you can make that. To the character's appearance alongside the other Spider-Verse characters in Spider-Verse number six. So, okay, so she was, but this is not. Okay, I don't remember these pages from Spider-Verse, but you know what? I read the uh, like complete collection. So maybe this was an event that happened outside of the book. I, I You know what? No, I take that back. I don't remember this shit. I don't remember Miles uh, having his fucking mask off. So this must be a different Spider-Verse, but there's that character again. 
and you never see her walking she's always jumping but again like are nobody asking these questions how does this shit work jumping we're just gonna take the spider pose like your ass can't walk but you can bend and swing these things out like spider-man i'm confused y'all i'm so confused <laughs> and i don't really want to try to understand it because you know these people don't give a shit so why should we all i want to do in life is help make comics that make a difference whether that's helping include more diversity and realism in the makeup of comics <sighs> what fucking realism is it as a spider character with no legs <laughs> and the makeup of cons will help them marginalized creators get their foot in the door to help to tell their own stories but you wrote your own stories you just say you you just made all of this shit so why you keep taking jobs for them going uh, anyway and now watching miss t franklin and marvel give a platform to a small character to a small character i created and so many people seeing themselves in her the disabled joy i've gotten to witness today just reminds me all over again why i do what i do i am in awe i am amazed i am so grateful so man i think this is another example of marvel or disney just giving people jobs who are willing to just shut up and do whatever check these boxes because that's going to bring in the money so they thought uh but that didn't happen i want to now i want to find this other picture of the uh the more recent art from the story let me go find that so this is this spider person character you know um okay this is the wheelchair it's webbed up behind her okay how does she shoot these webs <laughs> to attach this thing to herself if they're like pointed through the back seems like there's a lot of work and she would probably be required to like be standing so that she can shoot that shit on her back <laughs> web it up as opposed to just you know standing and putting her hand behind her and doing a little finger thing But again, you never see her standing on those legs. She always full control in the air, but none of that down here. Now, I thought she was all super butchy and whatnot, but she got a nice little figure right here. Uh, there she goes, swinging again. Um, so, okay, like, is she, again, what are her powers? Because if she's not super strong, then I would think that the whiplash or her swinging through the, through the air she could lose her grip and then spider fall flat. <laughs> oh shit. And I, again, I don't know, like this is the issue with current comics is like they, uh, the sequence of like panels is weird. We're missing shit. So she just flying. And then now we see her in a wheelchair. So does she like, throw the wheelchair down and it kind of unfolds on its own and she flops down into it and it's just like damn how does ain't nobody wondering how this disabled bra just falling out the sky into a wheelchair nope because she just came out of the abyss okay some straight representation sure and she got the little the, the pride flag uh fucking dress outfit thing on like why why does that matter you know i'm not i'm not going around saying uh you know wearing shirts that's like i saying i i need to fuck women or a straight man here or something so like why are you just fucking advertising this information to everybody So is she just butchy in spider form? Because here she looks very feminine. I'm confused. Now look, th 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 my, my issue with this thing is <laughs> the lack of creativity. It could have made sense. Not really. But if we're going to try to make it make sense, why does the wheelchair 
not just turn into spider legs kind of like a doc ock or a superior spider uh spider-man thing to where you know you the wheelchair is like attached to you or you've created this device that creates legs and you know your real legs just dangling around y'all remember uh fang from teen titans the spider dude that robin was fighting like you know <laughs> it would have been funny to laugh at but it would have been creative and made sense it would have been like oh okay you know your again just like uh pete uh peter parker it's like you didn't get the powers fine you made a way for it to work okay well because of unfortunate circumstances or whatnot your legs don't work but that don't stop you and instead of just hiding the shit <laughs> and just letting them dangle through the air and we never address it the backpack wheelchair turns into legs bam check a box with some creativity look at this there go another spider person man if pete would have had all these damn spider people around when he was spider-man he wouldn't have had so much responsibility man shit would have been a whole lot easier <laughs> you know for this man to take out a whole what's that sinister six by himself if only he could have just called up some spider folk <laughs> but then we wouldn't get the great character that we see today again more boxes being checked yay we doing this for the downtrodden uh you know some how useful is a spider without legs i'm just saying you ain't artificially make none you don't got none to stand on your own uh <laughs> like what the fuck are these people doing here but that's all for this video people leave me a like or a dislike you know depending on the content depending on you know my commentary how i feel about this and if those buttons are not enough uh tell me how you really feeling by leaving a comment down below i i don't know what you can say just say something you know i'll talk to you whatever it's fun uh talking about this shit <laughs> and if you find any value in my opinion whatsoever you want to hear more of my thoughts i appreciate you go ahead and subscribe to the channel so i'm not sure i get you Chapter in the Art of War about misdirection. <laughs>